Hello guys, welcome back to the channel again. If you guys are checking out this channel for the very first time and you're interested in becoming a model, um, you definitely want to consider subscribing because I make awesome videos on a weekly basis that you guys are going to enjoy. So um, today we're in the studio again. Um, I have Suwadu who is a freelance model from New York. Uh, she's visiting LA at the moment. And what I want to do is to show you guys some really simple posing techniques that you models can kind of store in memory and, and keep this in mind as you do your photo shoots. Because when you're modeling and you have no props, nowhere to sit, nothing to lean on, nothing to play with on set, and they just tell you, okay, stand in front of the camera and pose. That's one of the most nerve wracking things for, for models is like, okay, what do I do with my hands? What do I do with my legs? You feel awkward because you don't have anything to play around with, right? So I wanna show you guys what you guys can do when you don't have any props, you don't have anywhere to sit, nothing to lean on, um, no other model to interact with, it's just you standing in, fr in front of a background and the photographer and client's like, okay, pose for us. So um, if you may, if you will, go to the background really quickly. Um, I'm gonna show you guys some really simple posing techniques that you guys can uh, keep in mind, so stay tuned. All right guys, so for the purpose of this video, um, I do have a flash unit. Um, I'm, doing, I'm doing a single flash and using the, the window as my fill lights. So this is really just you know, for the demonstration of this video. Um, I'm going to have Suwadu just stand in front of the background and do some poses for me. Um, so the very first thing that models like to do is that they tend to just stand straight, right? and they don't know what to do with their, with their arms, they don't know what to do with the legs. But as a photographer and as someone who's looking at the images, right, you wanna keep that visual interest going from top of the frame to bottom of the frame. So it's always best to create angles where you can. So rather than having both of her hands straight to the side, I advise her to play with the angles and the levels. So maybe one hand is on the hip, then you have an angle right here, and that already looks more interesting than just standing still. Let's shoot that. The next thing that she can do is that she can play with the angles, right? So you can lean, always wanna to cheat towards the lights, your key source of lights, which is this right now. So you can lean that way, um, don't have both of your feet at the same place together. They shouldn't be seen. Maybe one slightly in front, one slightly in the back. Another thing that she can do with her hands, again, you can raise your elbow up a little bit. It's like maybe you're playing with your hair or you, you're kind of like framing your face with your hands a little bit. One can be crossed. So you can do different things with your hands, but always keep, always keep your hands moving so that way there's visual interest in the frame. and cheat your body a little bit towards the light. Now, another tip that I always tell models, when you're standing still and you're feeling like, okay, I don't know what to do, I've done all the poses, I've done a pose with my arms crossed, I've done you know, hands in the pocket, hands in the back, I've done all that, just start stretching. When you start stretching, you will find the poses in between. So what I'm gonna tell you, stretch, stretch your arms, and pose as you stretch, right? But always wanna keep it elongated rather than um, com uh, compacts, right? So always elongate as you stretch, um, but look effortless, you know, make it effortless and look natural. Yeah, okay, boom, that's it. Now work the face. Work the face, cheat towards the light. Cheat towards the light. Yep, stretch out, elongate the arms. There you go, boom, boom. Turn your turn, cheat a little bit towards the camera. Just turn that shoulder just slightly, yep, boom. Make it effortless. So now for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to pretty much show you guys the same thing, but for men this time around. So as I said, a lot of models, when they're taking pictures, they just tend to stand still. If they don't have any props, nothing to sit on, nothing to lean on, no other model to interact with, they just kind of stand still and then they get awkward because they're like, okay, what do I do with my hands, right? So take a few pictures of me and I'm gonna show you, try to do it from a lower angle if you don't mind. 
and I'm gonna show you guys how I think through my movements. So the first thing I like to do is just put my hands in the back pocket. As you guys can see, my toes are not level, they're not together. So I try to have one leg, one leg up front, one leg in the back, you know, I can separate it. Um, both of your toes should not be pointed the same direction because you wanna create, uh, create a lot of angles and movements. So let's work this pose right real quick. You can look off, look to the side, look away. One to the camera. Okay, so now that pose is expired. After a couple of shots, you wanna switch it up, right? Um, so go ahead. So I'm just going to naturally move into my next position, which is just playing with my sleeves here. Giving the same thing, look away, look to the camera, look out. Cool. Now, as you guys can see, I'm doing this really slowly. I'm moving from one pose to another. Basically what I'm trying to do is go from here to here to here, looking away, do some poses looking away. Then I'm going to cross my feet. So now this one should be an easy pose. One hand in the pockets. Again, a lot of guys that don't know how to pose, they have, they have their toes um, leveled to each other, right? It should never be leveled. One hand in the pocket, one hand in the pockets. This, like having some kind of like motion, a half step, looks way better than just doing this. All right guys, so now I've worked the pockets, right? I did the back pocket. I did the front pockets. I played with my sleeves. Now it's like, okay, if you're running out of ideas, what do you do next? You can try some different things, like you could cross your legs, like this for example, having both hands in the pockets again. Again, the, the angles that I'm creating is more so at the lower part of my body rather than standing straight and keeping my toes to, um, my toes toe to toe, basically on a straight line, you never want to do that. Just create some kind of, um, create an angle, create some interesting shapes. So I'm going to do a pose like this and work this one. Look to the camera, look away, look out, um, work it a little bit, maybe for like three or four frames, then switch it up. So go ahead. And then you can even lean, you can exaggerate it if you want to, right? If the shoot calls for it. So again, now if you don't know what to do next, start stretching. So I'm just gonna stretch into my poses. Some movements. Another thing that you guys can do instead of just standing straight is to hop into a pose, right? So like almost like you're walking, so it's like a motion shot even, but you're not really walking out of the frame. You're just hopping into the pose, so go ahead, right? All right guys, so these are some really simple um, posing techniques, especially when you don't have props, you don't have anything to sit on, nothing to lean on, you don't have another model to interact with, right? So if you're just standing still and you know, in a plain background or in a natural environment where there's nothing around you, um, these are some simple tips that you guys can keep in mind. If you guys learned anything new, I appreciate a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're watching for the first time. I'll see you guys in the next one.